done to this boat and especially to get that floor in so that I can stand up straight tear out the old floor should give us a really good platform to continue working from and it should make things a little bit quicker so we don't have to dive in and out of the halls all the time yeah really pumped to uh, get some flooring down on that and feel something real under my feet but uh, for now we're just gonna make some dinner so let's do this Myself that I'll be lucky So too far if I did nothing I'm just now the wonder wonder Waiting for the good things coming To myself that I'll be lucky So too far if I did nothing I'm just now the wonder wonder Good morning champ Are you wet? You wanna tell us? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, why are you wet? Oh. You wanna talk about that? Did you fall in? Oh, oh, oh. You oh. did, eh? Was it scary? Oh. Yeah? Oh. I know. Oh. I was scared for you, man. Oh. All right, all right. So uh, this morning I got up, ooh, thanks for the shake, champ, and uh, came outside, brought champ out here. Oh. 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 Yes, I'm telling them, hold on. And um, as, as we were just kind of admiring oh. the sunrise, yeah, that's what happened. We were admiring the sunrise. He went to go lay down too close to the edge and rolled to clean off the side of the boat into the water yeah right into the water you, oh, oh, oh. yeah you big dummy oh yeah that's oh. what happened isn't it anyway oh, um, oh. check out what i built for him though uh, so champ has a hard time has a hard time dealing with stairs that have holes in them so i put this backing board i just tied it on i didn't want to ruin the uh, staircase although i don't know what i'm going to use it for because uh yeah, it's a nice epoxy job and it's nice and clean and I didn't want to just staple a piece of plywood to the back. So I found a piece on board that fit just about right, drilled a couple holes in it, lashed it with some old rope. And yeah, it's just enough to psychologically get Champ to uh, climb the staircase. And climb it he did. He just came right around after going for a little walk, came, swam back out here and climbed up the staircase and he's back on the ship. Yeah. I'm giving him a little bit too much freeness, too much autonomy. I know that if I have to leave him on the ship and go into town for something, basically I have to lock him in one of the berths now because otherwise I know he'll just dive off the boat 
and go take himself for a walk. I mean, I know he won't get up to any trouble and I know he's well trained enough to like avoid cars and everything. But it doesn't help him from uh, scaring some people sometimes. If he just wanders around. Yes. I know, I know you're nice, but they don't know that. Anyway. So as you can see, progress on the floor has been pretty good. And uh, I'm not going to finish the floor just yet because to finish the floor, I need to finish the other support on the other side. I just have a temporary thing to hold it in place. But uh, that's all got to go soon because I can't leave it as is right now until I have uh, the decks on the forward part all sorted out. And some of them are pretty rotted. So I think I'm going to gut those actually raise the ceiling on those two berths on that side and then uh, finish the, refinish them all off. So that's the next one of the next big projects I got to do. Um, but in the meantime, we've got the, just a couple pieces of plywood in here to give you the full effect of the height of the floor. Check this out. Reminder guys, I'm six foot six. This beam is not going to be here, but that gives me, I don't know how many inches. So that's a two by four, it's three and a half inches and I am pretty much like a quarter inch below it. So, and I'm wearing boots, so maybe half inch. So yeah, that's four inches above me. That's six foot 10 right in the center here. And off to the sides, uh, on this beam, yeah, maybe just like six foot eight or six foot, uh, yeah, probably six foot eight. But isn't that nice? Look, main communal space of the boat. It's gonna have all this crazy headroom. And once I'm done sinking the floors and the uh, berths on either side, they'll have crazy headroom too. So especially on the, uh, on the head side, I'm gonna sink the floor down, put a low basin on the shower and everything. You'll have a limited amount of square footage that you can actually walk on, but the advantage is you won't be, or I won't be crouched. And everyone else will have to uh, ask me to reach the cookies on the top shelf. So. All right, guys. Well, uh, with no further adieus, I think let's get to tearing up the old floor so we can really soak it in. think this will be the height of the floor I can walk all the way through the cabin now the floor seems to be a bit uneven my head's hitting over here but not back there but that's okay because the front is not done we're just hanging it do you see this beam right here well that's all temporary <coughs> yes I know I made it <coughs> where'd the floor go did you see the floors missing did you see our little eggs too champ <coughs> no you can't eat them no, you can't. All right, well, let's let's go to shore. We're gonna go say hi to Vern. <coughs> yes, Vern, yes. Um, yeah, our little, <coughs> it would have been cool to have some little bird compadres to hang out with here, but it looks like this nest was abandoned uh, last season and these eggs froze. Dead nest, unfortunately. I guess more fortunately, because I did tear up their home. So, fortunately? Anyway. But if you take a look at this beam, that's one of the one, two, three, four, five, six beams that hold this boat together. Currently, this one is the most rotten. That one's definitely gonna go. However, I'm gonna put another beam close to there. So uh, it'll hold up the forward mast. Uh, and I wanna go over some details once I know for sure what kind of mast rigging I even wanna do, because it's a blank slate, so I can kind of set it up as I will. Single mast, double mast. Junk rigged, regular sails, Bermuda schooners, 
freaking anything. There's all kinds of options. And uh, yeah, so the uh, world is my oyster, or at least this boat is. <sighs> Jeez, I'm just so excited. Look, this will be the kitchen. Obviously, biggest, most important space of the boat, kitchen. <laughs> Duh. So um, yeah, we're gonna have counter space over here, counter space there, counter space there. I'm standing on a little island that will be here, you know, pots and pans dangling overhead. She's gonna be good. And then there'll be like a bulkhead kind of right here, main support coming down and around, you know, sealing all of this up because there's a mast that'll come out right over here. There'll be big bay windows over there and over there. There'll be another hatch and this roof will be raised up to this section. There'll be a hatch right here and there'll be a slot between the counters where you just into that berth. And then same thing over here, slot between the counters. I've cut kind of a corner out of this and down into that hatch and down into that berth. That's the berth I'm sleeping in currently. Anyway, super cool, eh guys? Like, how rad is this? Ah, <sighs> finally, a space under deck that is six foot plus that I can stand up straight in. Ooh, soon the whole boat will be like this. And I am so excited. Um, as for flooring, that's definitely not my final plan. <laughs> this is just a temporary a couple pieces of plywood that were lying around that I just threw on top of the beams. I haven't even shored up all these beams yet. Uh, I gotta continue doing that. Kind of the, the superstructure between each beam to kind of like keep them nice and level and straight. But uh, until I figure out the supports and glass it all in on the other side, this is just kind of like wibbly wobbly hanging from ropes. So um, yeah, we gotta do that. Which means I gotta get epoxy out, which means I gotta get glass mat out. Which means I am getting into the core of what boat building really is, and that is resins and, you know, composite materials and hmm, safety equipment, special gloves, sweating a lot, I imagine. Anyway, let's go see Vern. Alright, buddy. Yeah, good boy! Yeah, you did it! You did it! in every time. You made yourself comfortable, champ. Oh, yeah, he came to say hello. Today, yeah. It's in the sidecar. You know, but he, he thought he'd do it, everything a la nude. Vern's got his boat just down the harbor from mine, so he'll be down later on with some more materials. In the meantime, we have to pick up some stuff to continue sanding because we've got to finish the cabin roof before all the rain comes, champ, and we get soaked. I'm gonna finish that roof, okay? Okay, you gonna finish the roof with me? All right, let's do this. Come on. All right, we got our supplies. Unfortunately, the tide didn't come in as far as I'd like. So now I have to drag the boat back to shore. That's the advantage, disadvantage of a big dinghy. It's quite heavy. Quite heavy. Boy. Champ, what's the disadvantage of a slow old dog? He doesn't want to come down to shore. Just sits around, does whatever he wants. 
I'm gonna leave you there. Come here. Let's go. What are you waiting for? What is the holdup? You doing your makeup or something? Come on. Get in. Get in. Up, up. Hey. 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 Up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. From the. Yeah, from the least convenient place. That's good. That's great. That's a good idea, champ. It's a good thing you're cute. She's not all that smart sometimes. Up, up. Good boy. You got that. Thank you.